pads and what you'll need is I have can I just got what was cheapest at the store I have conditioning feed which is a kind of seed mix and then this is whole kernel corn, kernel corn from my uh, uncle's place and then a cheap bag of mealworms I have a bag of uh, flax seed this is extra wheat from when we sprout it uh, and then over here we have oats with some cracked corn and I use scratch. So what I've done is put a generous cup of feed in there. I have a, or two cups, sorry. I have a half cup measuring. I put four. And now I'm going to put a cup of flax seed. And a half a cup of whole kernel corn if I can get a hold of it. Not only is this a treat, but it's also really good for them. And just a good thing to give them. I'm going to do a cup of, this is cracked corn and oats. And the whole cup and sling it all over. I have my wheat, and I'll do a cup of it. And I'll do a half a cup of mealworms. These have never been opened, so. Well, maybe I'm not going to open these. Alright, so we're back. We got it open. But I'm going to add half a cup of the mealworm frenzy dried mealworms. Alright. So after that, I'm just going to give this a stir. And I will be right back. I'm going to go get my scratch. One. Okay, so I'm back. I had to go get scratch from outside. Now, scratch is basically um, a bunch of different seeds, mainly cracked corn, and I add black oil sunflower seeds to mine. Uh, if not, you can just add a quarter cup of black oil sunflower seeds or half a cup or whatever. But I'm going to add a cup of scratch, maybe. Um, and one last ingredient I forgot to tell y'all. Uh, these are Quaker oats. They're old, uh, any oats that we have that go old, uh, we just put in here and I use them for my animals. And this is about half, half instant oats and steel cut oats. So I'm just going to add half a cup of that because mine tend to like it. I want a little skippy. Um, so if you have a small backyard plot, this is, would be plenty, but I'm going to... I'm going to double the recipe because I do have a large block. So, if y'all want to watch, I will quickly double the recipe. Okay, so I'm doubling the recipe, so I'm going to go back through this. So, it is two cups of this is conditioning feed. And then one cup of flax. Whole kernel, this is white corn, you can use yellow, which is just what we had planted this year. I'll add a bit extra. Then, how much was it? A cup of wheat. A cup of oats and cracked corn. Shy there. And a cup of scratch. Half 
paprika, oats, and a half a cup mealworms. Now this street right here, most of this was just extra stuff we had laying around. Uh, all that I bought was the mealworms and they were $6.00. Uh, flaxseed was $3, there were nine, and I bought the conditioning feed for $5. So it cost me overall $14 to mix up probably around two gallons of feed, plus I have all this extra. Um, whereas a little bag, probably about a half gallon bag of treats would cost roughly $13. Uh, so this is definitely a lot cheaper and my hens tend to really like it. None of this is really necessary in these treats. It's more of what you would prefer to feed your hens. Like, I'm going to add another half a cup of, well, maybe not. I can't call my scoop. There it is. <laughs> another half a cup of flat seed. Just because, you know, I have a lot of babies and the smaller seeds, they really tend to like them. Um, but if you have larger hens, you may want to stick to more of the larger seeds. Um, ducks, this is great for ducks. I tend to feed my ducks more of this type of stuff than um, actual like powdered chick starter. I'll add more scratch too. Uh, because, I don't know, they just tend to like it more. And it does have a lot of nutrients in it. Uh, this conditioning feed is high in protein, calcium, that type of stuff. But it's all natural. It's all in the seeds. Uh, so it's really good for them. Uh, scratch actually doesn't have much nutrient, so it's kind of an additive. Uh, flaxseed is omega-3, omega-6 rich, um, you know, that type of stuff. So uh, you, of course, have a lot of protein in your mealworms. So, and whole corn is a lot better for your birds than prep corn. So this is definitely a good thing if you give your hens a lot of treats. Uh, to mix up your own so you know exactly what's in them. Uh, thank y'all for, well, never mind. We'll go feed some. Let me get some and we'll go feed them and see how everybody likes it. Awesome. My older bainies here and some of them are back in here. Let's see how they like it. I've got roughly a quarter cup. Hmm, I think they like it. So I'm going to give them another quarter cup. A half a cup for them is plenty. They've already had food today. Even though you don't act, they don't act like it, but they do. So, so far, it's been a complete success. They really like it. And one thing is, if you have a lot of bainies, the real big whole corner corn and stuff, you want to be sure they can eat that. But, they can. Uh, young bainies, I wouldn't recommend giving as much of the whole corner corn and stuff. As it might be too much for them and choke them. So, alright, let's walk over to the one. Okay, so these guys I just got um, from Dog Day. If you live around Tennessee, you know what Dog Day is. Even if you live in Alabama, a lot of you know. Uh, so they probably never had treats, so let's see what they think. Um, they may not can handle the big stuff as much, so I may make them a little batch of small stuff. But... What they can get to, they definitely seem to. So here's a handful of small stuff, let's see. Yeah. So like I said, young bainies like this, I would recommend making a batch without all the big stuff in it. Uh, just because they can't usually handle as much large seeds. But chances are as they get older, they'll definitely be able to handle it. So I have one more pen of bainies and then some ducks and big hens. So let's go see what they think. One. Okay, so these guys get a lot of treats anyways, and, well, I think they like it. <laughs> Going down there and eat. So I'm going to give them right over half a cup. So, and these are younger bainies too, but they can handle more of the big stuff. But, Anyways, but I have a lot of bainies right now. <laughs> but you can hear the ducks in the back around. We'll just turn around and go to them. Okay, 
Okay. So we have ducks and he's new. He probably won't eat much, but my old girls absolutely love these treats. He won't eat while we're standing here because he's a chicken, but that's okay. He'll eat once we get down. But we'll let him eat and we'll walk over here. I have another pen of ducks. Just step over here. Okay. So this is my other, that again is a new hen, but my old Drake here. He will probably love himself a half a cup of, oh, she may eat too. So, yeah. My big hens will come up. Alright, so while these are eating, I'm going to see if I can call up my big hens. One. Okay, so I couldn't find my big hens, but these guys look like they'll enjoy another little bit. Oh, uh, the one with the bald spot on his head, when he was... Uh, a couple, I don't know, it was about three weeks ago now. They got, this door fell shut, and they had no water, and it was him and two other, uh, that big red and white one, and one of the others, and they actually pecked his skin off, so he's, he looks weird, but I treated him, and he's doing good now, so we'll get back in the camper and finish up. One. Alright, so overall, this is a really good feed. As you can tell, most of my animals like it. And, um, it's not just a good chicken treat. This can be used for, on our farm, we'll use it for the chickens and pigs. So, uh, we'll insert a clip at the end of us taking them to feed to the pigs. And there's ants crawling around. It's great. But, um, so definitely the ants like, uh, the ants, wow. The pigs like more of the big stuff. But, anyway, so this is overall how you do it. And thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you at the end of the next big pig. Okay, so we came over to my cousin's house. He has the pigs. They're pot bellies, but, you know, anyways. So we're going to see how they like the tree. Now, I actually modified it for pigs. I added more of the big seeds and more uh, whole corn. So, let's see what they think. Alright, that's good. <laughs> so, it seems like they like it. And actually, we're going to give his big hen some as well. Because I couldn't find mine. So, we'll see how they like it. So, I would definitely say the pigs really like it. So, we'll head to his chicken pan and be right back. Okay. okay, so we're at his chicken pen, and he has half a dozen hens, so we're going to go in and feed him. Back up, girls. Oh, it's a little too short for me. I'm having to, yeah. so he'll give them a handful and see what they do. Now, these hens... One of them gets treats because she came from my house, but these others, we don't know if they've ever had hardly any treats. So let's see what they do. Of course, the one from my house comes right up and starts eating. But, sorry about the dog. And this one is the one from her house. Yeah, the, the off-colored one. Yeah. yeah. And but, the four Buffingtons and the Rhode yeah. Island Red come from a neighbor up the road that was moving. Hey, Hallie. So, you can tell they haven't had many treats, but they are eating at it. And chances are by morning it'll be gone. <laughs> but, so overall this is about it. Him and his random, hey we got an egg. But anyways, so that's about it. Thank y'all for watching. Like and subscribe. Give me ideas on what you'd like for your next video to be over. I am getting a barn, so I'll be getting quail and stuff. And I would love to do a hatching video, that type of stuff. Uh, let me know.